guys, Kishore sure here. So what we are going to learn today is subtracting integers. In my last video, I taught you add integers without the number line. Today, we're going to learn subtracting integers without the number line. A rule for subtracting integers are, if we're subtracting a positive, positive number, it is the same as adding a negative number. Sub, if we're subtracting a negative number, it is it is the same as adding a positive number. And those are your rules for subtracting integers. Okay, now let's get on with the question. So our question is positive 10, take away positive 5. So how are we going to do this question? Let's take a look at our rules here. Subtracting a positive number is the same as adding a negative number. In this question, we are subtracting a positive number. Now let's use that rule for this question. So I want to keep the 10 as it is. Our answer is subtracting a positive number is the same as adding a negative number so we're going to add a negative number this negative five so with with the adding side i get negative five okay now we rewritten it yeah. see remember in our adding um in teachers we learned the rule if there's Two different signs, like positive 10 and negative 5, they're both two different signs. So we have to subtract both those numbers. So let's do 10, because that's the biggest number. So that's why we're putting it at the top. And then take away 5. So that is going to be 5. And then, and then, Positive, no, and then which number is bigger? 10 or 5? 10 is. So, what is the sign for 10? Positive 10. So, it's the sign is positive. So, we can put positive 5 like that. Okay, let's do some more questions. Okay, negative 18, take away negative 2. That is our question here. Let's take a, before we start the question, let's take a look at the rules here. Subtracting a negative number is the same as adding a positive number. So, let's rewrite this question. So, we're going to keep minus 18 as it is. And then this Subtracting a negative number is the same as adding a positive number. So we're going to put the adding sign and add a positive number too. Now we have rewritten it. Let's figure out the answer now. So we have two different signs. So we're going to subtract. So Let's put 18 at the top, that's the biggest number, minus 2. So 8 minus 2 is 6, and then so 16. And now we got 16. We found out the number. Now let's figure out what sign um, it is for 16. So let's put 16, and then which number is bigger, 18 or 2? 18. So what sign does 18 have? The negative sign. So this is going to be negative 16. Okay, now let's get on with the last question. Okay, 
So it's positive 20. Take away positive 25. So how we're going to know this is, let's rewrite it first. So let's take a rule here. Subtracting a positive number is the same as adding a negative number. So let's rewrite that as it says in the rule. So we keep it as 20, and then we'll put the adding sign on a negative number, so negative 25. Now we have rewritten written it. So um, we have two different signs here, positive 20, and negative 25, positive and negative. They're both two different signs. So, we are going to subtract. So 25 is the biggest number. So, put 25 up there. On top. And take away 20. So, 5 is 0 is 5. And then 2 minus 2 is 0. So, it's 5. Now let's find out which sign is it, which sign is it for five, for the answer. So the number is five, and then which number is bigger, 25 or 20? 20, 25. What sign does 25 have? The negative sign. So we can put negative five. So our answer is negative five. So I hope you understood how to subtract integers without the number line. And these rules are helpful when you get like harder questions. That's why we're doing it this way when we get bigger numbers. So I hope you enjoyed my lesson today. And see you next time. For now, Kishore signing off.